going to cut my layers now. And how I did it was I parted the front because I want a A-line bob so the front part's gonna be longer and the back part's gonna be shorter. Now I put two rubber bands here, here, um, because I wasn't sure where I was gonna cut. I don't wanna make it too short. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut in between the rubber bands. And I have my good scissors for cutting hair. So let's see how this goes. Probably should have my husband doing it, but. Now because I have two separate colors, um, I'm going to do a lot of razor cutting in the top part because I want you to be able to see the other color underneath. Right now I'm just going to separate the two, well, separate some of it, but I still want it a little shorter. Okay guys, now thanks to my husband, the back is cut straight. I'll show you guys right now. Some people would do it with scissors, but I'm gonna razor cut it and razor cut this off. So, you know what? Should I do it with scissors? No. Okay, the same height, you should be okay. Let me see what this is looking like so far. Go ahead and do this 
side for you guys, and then the other side I'm just going to do off camera so I can hurry up. to be perfect. I mean, unless you plan to wear them straight, which I don't plan on doing anyway. so I can put a lot of like bump uh, feathers in it basically. I want to feather the top. Let's see again.
so so far it's this. Now what I'm gonna do is the other side and then I'll come back to you guys and show you guys how I do the front. Okay guys, so I pretty much finished up the back. I'm going to do this side and with this really all you do is cut it but I think I'm going to razor cut it to... sorry you guys can't see but I need the mirror this Finish results. 